Yeah, there's still a lot of areas with no lacquer. I mean, no, not no lacquer, but uh, there's still many areas without uh, the tea leaf cover. You gotta sprinkle more on there. All right, so it's getting coated better. Once this has like a really good solid coat on it, I'm gonna kind of grind it down a little bit so it's not as abrasive uh, on your hands and um, and then lacquer over it some more so it'd be like semi-smooth. Actually this one looks like it's r thoroughly covered and also there's a lot of crap on there but once Well, once this thing is completely done, I'm going to scrape all that out. Yeah, this stuff runs out of... The brush just runs out of lacquer so quick. Because there's so much surface area in here. And I think that's what makes this sort of coating really nice, because it makes it extra tough. Well, there are a couple bald spots on there, so... Yeah, usually lacquer is for like some sort of really thin coat that gets the surface all nice, shiny, and, and kind of like uh, tough, but for this, it's like you put on a thick coat. And this is the modern lacquer, not Arushi, so it dries much faster. It's... Yeah, I don't know if it's harder. Um, I would think so, being like a, you know, a, a synthetic product, I would think that it would be like way stronger than, uh, than regular, you know, natural lacquer that just comes from a, from a tree. So this process is very repetitive, it's just... You know, lacquer, see the bald spot, sprinkle on some more. Then you uh, kind of take a little bit of the excess off and then lacquer again. You know, so this actually, it's not too bad right now. It's, it just has a couple of little bald spots there and I'll have to, I'll have to get, let's see here. Getting high off of those fumes, man. I'm thinking after this hardens, it's just going to be clear coats, uh, or, or uh, regular coats, and then a little bit of grinding or sanding to uh, get it a bit smoother. Because right now, I mean, if I just left it like this and lacquered over it all the way, it would be so rough. Like, you'd get calluses on your hands from this crap. Okay. Just like the other ones, I'll have to kind of brush some of this off with my fingers, all the loose stuff, so that it doesn't get caught on the brush. And uh, then apply another coat. There's a little bit of a bald spot on the very tip here, one right there. You can see some of the wood through that. But I think overall, like, even if a little bit of the wood is showing through, everything else is so dark that it's, it's not going to be an issue. Yeah, this thing is looking ugly right now, but I think once I get those extra lacquer layers on and make it a bit smoother, it's going to look better. You know, it'll get a kind of like a shiny, bumpy texture to it, make it and uh, make it really rugged looking, just like the uh, other Tonto parts that I'm doing. So there are the three uh, wooden pieces, that's the handle for the Tonto, that's the scabbard for the Tonto, and then that's um, a little scabbard for a, a small Kiridashi carving knife. So, I've actually never done this. Uh, usually I use um, Forge Scale, and Forge Scale makes the lacquer extremely black. It's like piano black, it's a beautiful finish, but I'm thinking because these um, tea leaves have a slight green color to them they might kind of uh, might kind of make it look like it has a almost like a camo look to it like um 
like real tree they kind of do a um, they actually just photograph pictures of the of the natural ground and then turn that into a print so I'm thinking you know that that will kind of look cool or it might look like uh, like moss <laughs> that grew on the on the wood who knows I'll, I'll find out it might be good might be bad I'll learn either way all right so the lacquering didn't go as well as I'd hoped you know with uh, when you use Urushi the lacquer just kind of turns like a really really dark color and you have that texture but the lacquer that I'm using is clear so you can see all like the the really dark green and the light particles from you know all the different tea leaves in there and uh, it doesn't look that great. I was kind of pressed for time, so um, I didn't have time to like do uh, like a te like a test stick or you know a test sample to see what it would look like. So eh, it didn't work. It didn't really work out too well. I mean, you know, once you know that it's made out of tea leaves, it kind of seems cool. But uh, I'm gonna assemble it now. that's the blade it's nice see the the whole knife is is perfectly functioning it's just that it doesn't you know it doesn't really look that great so baki there switch that on oh there we go and then have the spacer or the bolster and then I have the tapered peg called a mukugi mekugi and you have the small hole the big hole it goes in the big hole because it's tapered it only fits in a certain direction let's see it's like the He's, oh, there it is. Kind of, it goes in there, but I need to give it a couple hammer taps to kind of, kind of send it home. There's the knife. I mean, it's like, the handle feels so good. It's kind of like a really warm feeling, and it's, uh, the texture is really nice. It's just that... It doesn't really look that good in my opinion, um, but you know I, this is actually my um, first knife with like a like a really good uh, or you know with a, a tanto with like a really good habaki on it, and uh, let's see and then you have the the sheath here which kind of has the similar texture. Uh, what I did with this was that. Um, after you lacquer some le uh, the tea leaves on and you get a good layer of them then after you let it harden you bring it to like a flat sanding block and start kind of sanding it down and then you kind of uh, create flats so it's not you know super bumpy but you still have like the the lower areas where you kind of get that texture it's like really grippy so and also one problem with this is that you can't really tell which way the the blade goes in but you can just kind of look inside and see the um you know how how it's tapered inside there so oh yeah so you kind of and then it doesn't fall off so all in all, it's a good functioning knife, but it just, just doesn't look good. Kind of looks like a cow turd or something, but, I mean, it's a functioning knife. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd feel, feel good about selling this at the state fair. I might, yeah, I might just, like, not put my name on it. I don't know. Well, actually, I didn't sign this knife with any maker's mark or anything, so... I mean, I, I barely ever sign my work because I'm, I, I, that's like the last thing that I would ever think of doing. 
you know, finish forging a knife, I don't think of putting my name on it. I just think, you know, cra you know, I, I just finished the knife. Okay, now on to uh, finishing it. So um, it was, it was just an experiment. I mean, it's, I mean, this knife is perfectly functional. I'll probably sell it at the state fair and have a paper explaining why it looks like this. Maybe once they figure out that it's uh, tea leaves lacquered in there, they might be like, oh, that's, that's cool. I, I, I drink tea too, I guess. Anyways. It's gonna be a good carver. Let's see, do I have a piece of wood here? Yes, I do. I don't have it sharpened all the way. I think there's like a bald spot right there that I don't have like completely sharpened yet. But it, it hogs away at it. That's for sure. And also it's uh, really solid. You know, no parts are, are shaking around. It's, it's well seated in the handle, so I did a good carving job on that. I'll learn from it. I think forge scale looks way cooler because instead of having this like soft, kind of soft but rough texture, with forge scale you have like a really, really hard texture on it. And um, I don't think you actually, I, I've never actually ground down the forge scale like I did with this. I just kind of scraped the really bad parts off with my fingernail because uh, forge scale is so brittle and uh, then I keep lacquering over it and it gives it like a really, really good looking um, uh, polished black but really rough finish. Um, I made a bow, that, like a knife in the hat, bowie knife, um, that was like that. So all in all I'd say this is mechanical success but an uh, aesthetic failure. <laughs>